Thank you, Tony. Um, and uh, Xiao Wu Hao, everyone. Um, I'm Glenn, as Tony said, I'm the CEO of the Hazer Group. Actually, it's a really good day to be talking about Hazer. Um, if you go to our website, you'll see that this morning we announced a breakthrough uh, landmark deal with POSCO, the sixth largest uh, steel manufacturer, uh, to use our technology in green steel manufacturing. So a really monumental event for us um, today and a really important uh, milestone for the company as we commercialize our technology. Um, maybe go to the next slide or two slides down, perhaps. HAZA stands for Hydrogen and Zero Emissions Research. It's a bit of a mouthful, but effectively, uh, as Tony referred to, we take uh, a natural gas as a feedstock, and at heat, we simply split natural gas into pure hydrogen and carbon in the form of graphite. That is it. We have zero emissions, and it is an entirely clean, um, economically attractive technology. The X factor, or the very important competitive advantage that we bring, is that we use iron ore as a catalyst. And it does two very important things. It substantially reduces the temperature of our reaction to between 800 and 900 degrees and it gives rise to a very high purity graphite co-product. One technology that serves three very important markets, the hydrogen market, the graphite market, and industry decarbonization. Okay? Now, at the core of our technology is a thing called a fluidized bed reactor. A lot of people say to us, is this technology scalable? Yes, it is, because fluidized bed reactors have been around for a very long time. They have been used in refining and the metallurgical industries for decades, and we know that they get very, very large. So our ability to scale our technology is already proven and built into the design of our tech. This is a very low cost, low emissions pyrolysis technology that can produce clean hydrogen and graphite. Next slide. We have a demonstration plant. We have proven this technology five times already. Uh, so we've been on this journey for 15 years, successfully scaling up our technology to demonstration level and now ready for commercialization. So this is a very advanced technology and we have been very um, uh, strongly supported by the Australian government um, with a very attractive grant funding award uh, to us a couple of years ago to about $10 million. Next slide, please. Next slide. And we'll just go to the next one, please. Thank you. So here's a summary of our technology. The hydrogen market is growing at about 6% per annum. So we have strong tailwinds of the hydrogen market, which is growing very fast and being used for uh, to abate um, carbon dioxide in hard to abate sectors. This is a low cost, low emissions proprietary technology. Low cost drives compelling economics. We have very strong partnerships worldwide. It's a very advanced technology a clear pathway to commercialization and very strong government support. I wanna just pick out two or three of those as we go through the pack. Next slide. This is today's demand for hydrogen. Top left-hand corner, today's demand for hydrogen is 95 million tons per annum. Many people don't aren't aware of that. That is a quarter of the LNG market worldwide. It is an extremely large market. It's valued at $180 billion. All of that hydrogen is produced with a technique or a process called SMR. Maybe go to the next slide. All of that 100 million is produced with top left steam methane reforming. Now, every ton of hydrogen produced today is associated with 10 tons, yes, 10 times the amount of CO2. And that is our disruption because Hazer uses the same feedstock as SMR 
instead of having carbon dioxide as a byproduct, we have both hydrogen and graphite as co-products with zero emissions. We are immediately disruptive for today's hydrogen market and equivalent in cost. Electrolyzers on the right-hand side, you can see electrolysis, splitting water, all you need to remember, splitting water versus splitting gas is seven times more energy intensive. It will be seven times more costlier to do electrolysis than it is to either carry out SMR or the HAZER process. So very advantaged technology for us, zero emissions and very low cost. Next slide. We plug in, think about any refinery, petrochemicals plant, LNG facility, power station. We simply plug in and provide hydrogen to the customer where it's demanded. And that is very important because it eliminates the requirement to transport hydrogen around the world. That is, an, again, another advantage of our low cost model. Next slide, please. Here's the costs. I'll just ask you to look at the US on the, on the left hand side. We can produce today hydrogen in the US for $1 a kilogram. In Asia, where gas prices are slightly higher, we can produce it for between $2.50 and $3. That is extremely low cost, driven by our competitive low cost technology. And we still see a pathway chart on the right to even a much lower cost base as we scale the technology. This is very competitive with today's technology and the switching across to Hazer will be very easy for customers. Next slide. Perhaps just go to the next slide. And we're not the only ones that believe in it. We've got large global partners, as I mentioned, POSCO as of this morning, the world's sixth largest steel maker. We've teamed up with Chubu Electric, the world's largest LNG importer, a very big gas utility out of North America called Fortis BC, Onji, who is a very large gas utility in Europe, and the Mitsui Group, which is based in Japan, one of the world's largest trading groups. So we have very strong validation and endorsement of our technology, and we've got first mover advantage in North America, in Europe, and in Asia Pacific with very strong tier one partners. Next slide. And we've scaled it up, as I've said, successfully five times. This is an advanced technology. It's got easier as we've got larger, as with most technologies, it's not been a straight line, but we are very proud to say today that we are on the cusp and on the edge of commercialization. Our commercial demonstration plant on the right-hand side is now operating, and we are using that as the design basis for our projects, um, our commercial project basis on the right. Next slide. We're a licensing model, so we, we don't build products. We simply license our technology, and that's the, the business model that we, that we operate upon, license fees and royalties. Next slide. Our graphite, I'll just say a few words on graphite. Um, we have a, um, a very high purity graphite product. Uh, we've been teamed up with Mitsui for the last two to three years to market and explore the demand for our um, graphite. We've had very strong feedback. It's low in sulfur. It's low in ash content. It can be used in lithium ion batteries or it can be used in the steel making industry as, as per today uh, we've announced a, a collaboration with POSCO to use our graphite in their steel making process. So it's a low emissions graphite. Uh, the market for graphite is somewhat constrained and Hazer is a, uh, a very large future producer of graphite. Next slide. And I think that's um, where I'd like to, to leave it, Tony, if that's okay. So a very um, uh, competitive, low cost, low emissions, hydrogen and graphite technology that has got very strong validation from, um, from high caliber partners worldwide. And we are very open to collaborating with Chinese partners. We know the Chinese market has um, a lot of industry refining petrochemicals, and we think Hazer technology is the perfect fit to accelerate the introduction and the transition into hydrogen much faster than any available technology today and much cheaper than any available technology today. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah.